Hello there, this is Corey from Bonk Scholar. Today I'm going to show you how to fix perfect bacon and eggs. Okay, so um, I am going to cook bacon and eggs for two people. I have two eggs each here. And of course um, you can choose your uh, whichever brand of bacon you'd like to choose. I happen to have this one here. I have another one here uh, that I'm going to begin with. And, uh, also, uh, make sure you uh, get one apple for each person who is um, going to enjoy these bacon and eggs. Now, I like to use um, about four pieces of bacon per person. So here's uh, eight pieces here. And I also like to cut it in half. Sorry, the knife isn't that sharp, but um, cut it in half here. And then after this is done, we'll put it in our pan. This is actually, I found the best way to cook bacon is with one of these electronic pans, electric pans, uh, or electric skillets. Um, I find these much better than cooking on the stove because it equalizes the heat throughout. This, this happens to be just a Presto um, electronic elect, electric skillet. So I'm going to plug it in here and turn it to 300, 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And let's put, our, put in our bacon. You can see that uh, putting it in or cutting the bacon like I did is a good idea. I think it makes it more manageable. It looks better too on the plate when you do it that way. So let's put this uh, put this in here. And I think it will fit perfectly in here. And of course it shrinks as it cooks. So if you have any extra bits you can just put it in there. And we are going to cook this bacon. It should take around 10 to 15 minutes to cook well. And then we'll get to the eggs. And here we go. It's been frying up for about 5 minutes or so on one side. And you can see when the edges get brown, let's sort of separate them here. When the edges start to, start to get brown, then that's time to turn over. Also, some, most of the areas of these um, electric skillets, it's, it's pretty evenly distributed here. You can see there are some uh, slightly hotter areas. So you can uh, re reorganize some of these. The ones that didn't get cooked as much, you can put here in the middle where, where they'll cook more. And I like to use a fork like this. And just about when they get uh, brown like this, you can start turning them over. Like this. Turn them over. You could also cook them, not cut them first, and then cut them next. Or you don't have to cut them at all. It all depends on how you like them. I just kind of like them this way. I think that they come out great this way. Get in here. Oh, come on. There we go. And now we got a nice... Selection of bacon here. This one needs a bit more heat here. So put that there.
And we see that some of them are done by now. You don't want to burn them. You want them just crispy enough, but not too crispy. I think that um, I enjoy a little bit of crispy bacon, but if it's too crispy, I think it almost ruins it. So I'm going to make sure it's not too done. Make sure you take out the ones that are done already, such as these here. These need a little more time. These you can flip over. I should have actually used tongs. Tongs work probably better for flipping these, but decided to use a fork this time. I'm going to make sure that you have them all evenly distributed and they're this perfect brown color here. And you don't, don't bother putting down a paper towel or something here to soak up the bacon grease. That's really not necessary. Uh, because it really should sit in its in its own grease here. It makes it taste better. So d don't don't try to get rid of bacon fat. Bacon fat is really probably the best type of uh, fat to cook with. That's a beautiful one there. The beautiful one there. They're all looking really nice. All looking really nice here. Let's take our eggs. Got one there. Got two. Got three. Make sure that you try to put them where most of the bacon grease is located and here's the last one here that's going to cook up for a few minutes I like to put a little bit of salt on here so a nice liberal amount of salt there and if you'd like you can do a little pepper not too much, just a little bit of pepper there. I don't like too much pepper, but you can do it to your taste. Mmm, basting and bacon grease. Eggs are, can't be any better than when they baste in bacon grease here. Well, almost they're almost as good when you cook them in butter, but this is an excellent way to cook eggs. Now I'm going to cook these eggs over medium. That's my favorite way of, of cooking eggs. If you'd like, you can do them whatever, whatever way you would like. Uh, but if you cook scrambled, it's best to get rid of most of the grease um, because it's going to mix in with the eggs. Only keep a little bit of the grease if you're doing scrambled eggs, but leave all of the bacon grease and try to have a lot of it if you're cooking either uh, sunny side up or over easy or over medium eggs. And now we have uh, the eggs are just about ready to be flipped over here. You can see they're nice and cooked here. And just get the spatula, lightly flip it over. Sometimes they break. Can't really control that. That's really up to the egg. But um, ideally, you want to be able to flip them without them uh, breaking. You want to be very careful. Gently flip those over here.
like this. It looks like I got all of them without breaking. And if you like your eggs over easy, then right after you flip them, just about a minute, then you can take them out. Over medium, you need to cook them about two to three more minutes. Uh, you can do this to test the yolks. I like the yolks. I like over medium eggs because the yolks are just soft enough, but at the same time they're hard. They're a little bit hard. A little bit more salt here. Not too much. And by this point here, you can deactivate the heat. You can unplug the skillet or turn off the stove if you're cooking over the stove. I think these are perfect over medium eggs right now. I'm going to take one here. And one here. Get the other plate. One here and one here. And then distribute the bacon on here like this. And I have these two plates, but we're not finished yet. Okay, now I've got my perfect plates of bacon and eggs here. And to round this off, I'm just going to cut up some apples here. I am quartering each of the apples here. And taking out the insides. Then another chop here. Two more chops here. I like to serve maybe around, depending on the size of the apple, a half to three quarters of an apple per person. I like apples. They, they provide a really good complement to the bacon and the eggs. You can also use hash browns, potatoes, toast, those sorts of things tend to be more common, but I, I really like the freshness of apples. So let's uh, take out the... and if you have one of those fancy apple core devices, you can use those as well. apples here. Put them on the plates here. And there you have it. Perfect bacon and eggs with apples. And now you can enjoy it. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoy your bacon and eggs.